Good morning, here we are, day 151. Uh, my cheating knows no bounds. I'm confessing right up the front again that this is actually day 152 and I'm reflecting on day 151 the day later. My beautiful little children continue to be their best and most merciless selves during the hours of 10pm and uh, 5am. So yesterday... Uh, Day 151, uh, stayed at home, tried to help out a little bit more. Um, uh, and therefore just worked from home, which has become part of the buzzword bingo canon at this point, over a year into the global pandemic. But, uh, you know, in that working from home part, I think was a, a good theme to discuss things today. Over that past year, of being forced to work from home and, you know, sidestepping any of the struggles of that for a minute. Uh, I was in a privileged and hard working position to have been able to afford to work from home and maximize that opportunity. In that was a lot of revelations for me about how I approached work. Uh, Being in academia, I think one of the things that's sold a lot is the flexibility of time. And by God, that's true on many occasions. But still, there's a lot of the culture that demands your presence and a feeling of having to be seen to be seen, uh, to be around in the flesh in order for anyone to think that you're doing any work and for you to satisfy any need that you have to please other people by showing them that you're there. Uh, and body, even if not in spirit. But over that lockdown period, over that elongated experiment of completely working from home, I'm pretty sure that I got through more of my professional and personal writing projects than I would have done had things continued as normal around March 2020 and, and the world didn't flip upside down. The commute time was completely eradicated. The ability to spend some short sprint times in the office and come out more regularly, see my kids more regularly than I otherwise would have, spend more time walking around outside, preparing meals at home, um, and fully enjoying the day without thinking about anything to do with commuting, without thinking about anything to do with travel, needless or necessary. Uh, it really flipped in my mind the ability to work and uh, be seen without being seen. I'm wondering how many others listening to this have had a similar revelation. But what bleeds into this period now where we're uh, in a strong inverted commas coming out of lockdown and returning to some sort of normality, whatever the hell that means, then, you know, I don't feel as guilty as I used to about spending a day of week working at home. Um, I think if things had remained the way they were, a day like yesterday where it was a a tough night with kids at home and I wanted to stay at home and yet get through some work, I would have felt so guilty as to hate myself a little bit or, you know, take it out on other people unfairly just because I felt the pressure of, not being there, Uh, what do you call that again? Presenteeism, that's it, that's the term I've been rambling around searching for. Um, But yeah, that's one of the silver linings of um, an otherwise tough lockdown period. It's, you know, having my eyes made fully wide open to the fact that we're no longer in the industrial age, you know, not, not every job for those privileged enough to have come out in a place where they can work up to profession, don't have to clock in and clock out. Um, Not all work needs to be done in in the same place at the same time every day. Uh, And indeed not within the same hourly window. And that's that revelation I think has continued to help me grow as a leader as well to help others in my care seeing themselves that some of them may be early birds, some of them might be night owls, 
but I can't possibly expect all of them to be the same or at their at the same peak performance at the same time every day. Uh, like a, some sort of mould where everyone's cut out the same and to perform the same exactly the same way every day. Uh, integrating that level of flexibility, I think, is where you find yourself and others around you at their best. So that's what to consider today. I think that's certainly what I'm considering strongly is when are you at your best? When is it that you truly need to be in a place around other people? And where might you actually get more done uh, in the privacy of a home office or in some other location where you can enjoy the privacy of deep work and get on with things? without other distractions. We'll see you for day 152. Have a good one. If you like what you're hearing on the podcast, head over to the website where not only will you find the written blog versions of these podcasts, you'll find my leadership blog series, the daily thought series, and information about my book on managing the imposter phenomenon. We also have even more free resources and webinars linked to the YouTube channel. So head on over to dr-mark-read.com. That's dr-mark with a c-reid.com. Thanks again for listening.